everyone and welcome to the Art Life YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you something really funny and I think it's funny anyway and it's decorating little plastic animals and giving them some awesome little costumes for the little kids or the big kids of the house to be able to play and turn them into a bit of a circus and really enjoy painting, but not necessarily on paper. It's a really creative and fun activity for the whole family. So grab your paints, grab your little plastic animals and let's have fun. A few things that you'll need though is some different brightly colored acrylic paints and some brushes to paint with grab some cool animals that you're going to decorate as well as some decorative materials things like pom-poms material fun stuff like that will act really well as decoration for our animals clothes i wanted to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers and all the subscribers that have been here from the beginning i really appreciate your support and i hope you're enjoying all the videos that i'm creating for you all right, we're going to get started with this kind of crazy activity, but I think it will be cool. We're going to decorate our giraffe and give him some clothes and just glitz him up a little bit. So the first thing we need to do is gather up some paint. Now, it is important to have fairly good quality paint. Uh, I am using the Matisse brand. You can get that from most art shops. And so the reason for that is that the paint is thicker and the color will be a lot more vibrant on the plastic. If you use something that is fairly watery and low in quality and pigment, you're just going to have to do thousands of layers to build up the color. So I suggest that you invest in one or two really good quality colors and they'll last you for a while. So the first thing we need to think about is the type of clothes that a giraffe might wear. Obviously we could um, bring up some sort of clothing up through his neck and around his body. We're gonna add things like pom-poms and material a little bit later, but we do need to put a base coat of color down first. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just gonna get a fairly small brush because we do need to get into little cracks and crevices. And I'm gonna use just a really beautiful, bright, vibrant color. I'm going to start here. Right, I'm going to imagine that the giraffe has got some shorts on. You can see that the quality of paint is really thick so that the color is still staying vibrant when I'm painting the plastic. And try to paint as neatly as you can. If you're a teacher, I think that getting your class to do this activity and getting a whole class worth full of colorful kind of circus animals just will look fantastic. So if you do end up doing that in your classroom or your art classroom, please make sure that you tag me on my Facebook page. At artlife.artlessons. And I'd love to absolutely see what you guys have done with the task, especially if you've used a whole lot of kids in your classroom. So remember both sides are important. It's a little bit trickier than painting on paper because it's not flat. It is a three dimensional sort of surface that we need to get under the belly. We're just covering in one straight color for now. We're gonna add some patterns soon. Try to make these edges nice and clean. So he looks like he's got some pants on already. <sighs> so silly. All right, so now I'm going to change the color and I'm going to give him a bit of neckwear just going up here. <laughs> is it just me that thinks this is absolutely hilarious? <laughs> Don't ask me where I come up with this stuff. He's got a top on there, some pants, but he's not done yet. Okay, the next thing we're going to do now, stay there, is add some patterns. 
patterns can be anything from polka dots to stripes, anything like that. And what I do suggest is that the base coat should be pretty much dry, um, especially if you're doing stripes and things. The colors are just going to merge if they're not completely dry. So dry buddy now the idea is to go a little bit over the top so I'm adding some glitter glue now I'm gonna add some pom-poms I'll add some ribbon just use what you have and recycle what you have as well you only need little bits um, so search the house and have a go at adding as much glitz and glamour to your little animals as you can I've got some little stickers here Now that we've painted some clothes onto our animal here, I thought that I would add a bit of 3D kind of texture by creating some clothes for him as well. You can see I've just got some scrap sort of wool here, some old sort of felt. You really don't need much at all. So whatever you have lying around the house, little pom-poms, little bits of just shawl, maybe an old piece of clothing and even an old rag. You t need a tiny little amount. So maybe try to recycle some of the things that you have at home. And it's really just to add a bit of fun to our animal here. So I'm just cutting a piece of felt here in a wobbly sort of line. You might choose to do this with any material. Now super glue should work. I'm gonna use hot glue today. So if you are a young child, please get mum or dad to help you for this step as it can be a little bit sticky, messy and dangerous if you're using a hot glue gun. Cool. So that will fit around the belly just like that. And then I'm also going to sort of bunch up this little bit of wool here and give him a bit of fluffy hair like that. <laughs> you might notice that I'm just applying a little bit of hot glue at a time because it does set fairly quickly because I'm also wanting to sort of bunch it. I'm sort of pushing it together like that to give it a bit of a skirt kind of texture. So just do a little bit at a time. This could be a really fun sort of children's birthday activity idea, a gift idea, or just rainy day sort of activity. Just go to the craft section in Kmart, pick up a few bits of ribbon, pom-poms, fun things like that. Grab a couple of animals and give them some fun clothes to wear. And then you can play with them over and over again. Create little concerts. There. Looking good, Giraffe. The possibilities are really endless with this task. I've gone ahead and made a few extra ones. You can see I've used tool there, different painting, different trimming, things like that. Painted the tail and the mane. You could add stickers as well. They need to be fairly good quality stickers to stay on there. 
you can have a whole big family full of fun dressed up animals. I roll. It's as simple as that. I really hope you've been able to be creative with some paints and some other fun materials from around the house to create some little animals that you can play with forever. Thank you so much for joining me today and please make sure you follow us at the at Art Life Art Lessons Facebook page and also at the at artlife.melb Instagram page. There are some ways that I'm able to see the beautiful artwork that you've done so please make sure that you tag me so I can see all the cool stuff you're doing at home. Thanks for joining me.